When you're buying or selling a home, having a professional real estate agent help you is really the right way to go. There's more than 10,000 real estate agents in the greater Jacksonville area. And the question becomes, how do you choose? How do you know that you have a professional? We have Rory Dubin with us today from Exit Real Estate Gallery, also a, an instructor at the First Coast School of Real Estate to give us some guidance on what to look for and how to be sure that agent is up in their game to serve you well. Rory, welcome to the show. Thank you, Wally. So help me understand this idea that I'm a licensed real estate agent or I am a realtor. What is that fundamental difference? If you're a realtor, you join the board of realtors, your local board, and you adhere to a code of ethics. And as a re your company would choose whether they want to affiliate with a board or not, you get licensed by the state and you get that basic right to practice. But consumers should look for somebody who's a realtor because it's a much more level of professionalism, more broker oversight. <clears throat> and they have all the resources of the National Association of Realtors, Florida Realtors, et cetera, that a real estate agent would not. Okay, so as a buyer or seller of houses, I've made the decision, I, I want to be served well, I'm choosing a realtor. How does the cream settle again? What, what programs can agents do to set themselves apart and give me comfort, I'll be better served? Well, Wally, that's a great question because as a manager, one of the things I've seen go down a little bit in the consumer sense of two is a level of professionalism in the industry. And as you know, our local board of realtors has about 9,100 realtors. We're increasing at the rate of about 100 per month. And although some are leaving, it's, that's not a net number, but you have all these brand new agents coming into our industry. Um, in some companies with a thousand different brokerages in our area, some companies have very good training, some don't. So a, a big push for me as a manager, not only within our own company, but just in the industry, is to raise the level of professionalism. When I went to the National Association of Realtors meeting this past November, they unveiled a program called Commitment to Excellence. And realtors can find that very easily at c2ex.realtor. And that program is a self-taught program. There are videos, but basically it goes through the levels of professionalism and increasing your professionalism as a realtor in the industry. It goes through the code of ethics. It goes through uh, data security for your consumers. It goes through basic sales etiquette. And that's something that not every firm has it, but it is a way that an individual realtor, no matter where they're at, can raise their um, professionalism and then you are officially endorsed by NAR as somebody who's completed that commitment to excellence program. And what should I expect as the consumer? Uh, how's that going to help me if I'm discerning and I seek out that advanced designation from my agent? Perfect. So as you are very aware, consumers are more knowledgeable than they've ever been. You have the internet, they're doing research on houses. You don't want to hire a realtor who knows less than you do. And that often, I, I see that a lot. Mm, in the, I've uh, seen that also. <laughs> so it, it's more important than ever for realtors to be extremely knowledgeable, um, not just about what their skills are, but about the market, about the background, what's happening, um, knowing what's happening in their community, Realtors are often looked at as stewards of the community. Uh, know what's going on. Know what's happening in the mortgage industry. Know what's happening at the national and at the state level with real estate. What are the trends? I work with a lot of investors in addition to home buyers for themselves. And investors are going to expect you to know that or else you're not going to be working right. with them very long. So it's just being at the top of your game, having industry information, having economy information that goes beyond real estate. And continue investing in your education too. As you mentioned, I'm an instructor as well. I felt it incumbent upon myself to my entire career to get additional knowledge, to take these certifications and designations that NAR has. And I realize, and you've mentioned it in your class, I was fortunate to take your certified protection expert class. You mentioned a lot of the public doesn't know what that is. Right. But the public does get a sense that if somebody's continually working on themselves, working on their own knowledge in all the different facets and different segments of this industry, then they're probably going to be a little better to work with because they know what's going on. They know a little bit about everything and they're not dealing with somebody who 
it really just got their license, got their lockbox, and then got set free, and they're never investing in their industry in, the, in themselves again. Agreed. So if I'm uh, not presently a real estate and agent and looking to become one, or if I am a real estate agent looking to learn more about professional certifications and designations, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Um, anybody's free to reach me at my website, RoryYourRealtor.com. Um, you can also take a look at our school website, FirstCoastSchoolOfRealEstate.com, to see some classes. There are a number of schools in our area. Um, we also offer a career night. Um, I think you're aware of Laura Hunter. You've had her yes. on your show before. She's our director of growth operations. She teaches a career night twice a week at locations all across our six-county area. As you know, we have seven offices. Right. And that career night lasts about an hour, and it's a very good overview. It's not really pushing exit down somebody's throat. It's really an overview of what it takes to be a realtor, the hours, the education, typical day in the life of a realtor. And I recommend going to something like that, a career night, make sure you want to do real estate, what it's all about, because it's not a, a steady paycheck, as you're aware. It's commission business. Um, and go to one of those career nights, make sure you want to do real estate, then find a good school and get your license. My last piece of advice on that, don't take an online class. I'm not a big proponent of those, not only because I'm an instructor, pass rates are much higher when people go to a real estate school. Excellent. I want to thank Roy for all the great things he does in the community, for things he does to elevate the profession. Fine guy and uh, worth a conversation with.